We are gonna start this video here at the house. Some of y'all like blown away right now. Y'all was like, <laughs> whose house is that? Where did y'all put Justin's trash as? I've been working very hard trying to get this place in order. We're gonna take our time guys looking for the perfect house because next time we move is gonna be like our old person house where we like retire, waiting for Jesus to come back. So basically what I'm doing, so kind of like what I'm doing over here, like these are things that are gonna be single lots in the auction. There's some of the thrift store finds, the sealed VHS sets. I'm putting all those in one lot. Y'all, there's like all these old animal books. Everyone's about a different animal but they're in really good shape. There's a whole set of them. Remember the quilts like with the uh, the sailors on them and stuff? Oh yeah, those were cool. Like Look at this old ashtray. That's pretty sick. Mm -hmm. This is a bronze. Look at that. It's a bronze statue. Oh, that's cool. Pretty cool. This is like all the china. This is all the really expensive Noritake. This is all gonna be moved. I'm covering this in leather and I'm gonna cover this rolling table. This is gonna be Gina's new photo booth. I'm also gonna mount lighting. A lot of this stuff's gonna come off and go in tubs, go to Adrian. But look, there's one of these. Where is it? 89D double die. Y'all look that up, do your research on those, but I've checked them with the loop and sure enough, they're all double dies. So these are all 89D double dies. Look this up. I'm gonna put the whole thing in the auction. That's all gonna be one lot. There's the Hot Wheels we just found in that unit. And I'm gonna put a more shelving in here that matches. Still gotta go through this stuff. I gotta unwrap all this. So this is just a mess. Let me just show you all this stuff because we never unwrapped this box from that unit. Remember it had the big, uh, the wood like uh, pilgrim statue? There's some cool ones, yeah. yeah. Like that's wood. I don't know that, that you know, there's any really chick angels. I don't know that that's biblical. I don't think it is. I like this one. Do you like this for the house? Yeah, that's kind of cool. That's kind of sick. Mm -hmm. Got that old school feel. Yeah. I feel like that didn't go with this. You don't think so? No. Do you think with it? Look at that. That just looks cheesy. We're going to give him like a prison shank or something. All right, guys, so we are here. We already started loading up. So today is Sunday. It's kind of, well, we don't have an off day, but it's kind of like supposed to be our off day. So we're going to hurry and get this loaded. And we're going to show you some of the stuff that we know you have not seen. So come in here. First of all, we found this. I do have the tail piece to it. I have the, all of the parts to it. This is the old Barbie plane. Y'all come check this out. See, look, here's the tail. <laughs> That's so cool. Look. It's got the little, what is that, a cart? Yeah, the little uh, uh, the push cart for the stewardess. Yeah. So check it out. So we have a Barbie plane. Uh, we're going to sit. So what I'm doing is I'm taking like all the stuff I know is like one really good uh, auction item. I'm putting all that stuff over here. Okay. Uh, putting personal stuff right here. Uh, we did just have a conversation with the nice gentleman that works here. He said the ex-wife of the person called and said they want some pictures. I need to tell him that he should probably not give them to her if the storage unit is in his name. 
True. That would be illegal to give that stuff to her. So let's make sure we stop by there and let him know that he might want to be cautious of whose name was on here. So anyway, check it out. This whole thing's full of vintage Barbies. Not going to take it out right now. But look, tons of... Oh, yeah. Remember when I popped this box open when Brian was here? Yeah. I found Moesha, y'all. Moesha. Y'all don't even know about Moesha. Oh, okay. Look down here. This is like all mini Barbies. All kinds of fun stuff down here. Paints. <laughs> All right, so this is all. Uh, I'm gonna guess this. Oh, here she is. Here she is. Brandy. Look, y'all. It's Brandy. It's Moesha. Y'all know about Moesha. I used to. I used to love watching Moesha. All right, so check it out. So box of Barbies. So check it out. I'm going through the personal boxes here because I don't want to take all that stuff back. But look what I'm finding, y'all. Show them that. Look at that huge one over there. So what these are, y'all? So these were in a personal box full of like cards and stuff. These are all like insert posters for like rock records. And oh, so, that's cool. well that's why, cause they're, I mean, they're perfect size of records. Mm -hmm. uh, but look, they're, and you can tell they had them taped up to the wall at some point. But, um, let's see. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, so anyway, so these are record posters uh, that were all in here. Uh, so there's several of these in here. And so now I'm going through there and I'm like, this is the old timers game. Sandy Koufax. I wonder if this is that one they had in uh, in Greenville where the Yankees came and played. Maybe not. Okay, so but look, that's still, that's the 1975 old timers game program. That's cool. And so that's kind of cool in itself. Uh, so anyway, that's why it's important to go through this stuff. And that's why I get an empty box and call it like a transfer box. And then I'm finding like the uh, manual for like some of the equipment here. Um, Y'all, I'm finding tons of these. Look at these old, these are like wartime photos. There's a lot of military stuff in here too. Um, oh man, hold on. Uh, yeah, see, look, there was a guy in military. These are just pretty pictures, yeah, aren't they? they? Just such gorgeous, like, man, just such a different time. But anyway, so look at this. All of these are full of like albums from like way, way back in the day. And so these, um, photographs look at these in this killer these are from the 30s y'all here's the thing y'all for real you can go through these pictures and you can find old pictures of like celebrities presidents things like that so always make sure to flip through those but the old ones wartime photos stuff like that sell so keep them all right uh so check this out this was oh whoa i didn't even see those guys y'all remember the little hot wheel uh tabs we found thanks for all the comments y'all we got look at these old uh uh, Coke bottle caps or these milk toppers, but look at these, y'all. That's sick. Yeah, that's cool. So we'll go through these and uh, we'll see what the top most collectible ones are. These, but so look like that, like just that bag right there. That might be a hundred bones. Look, this looks like just a bunch of old games. That's kind of killer. What oh, is that's it? Cool. Tax free business you two can operate. That's funny. Um, something. Oh, is that supposed? To, that's a prostitution joke, ain't it? Is it? Tax free business, complete kit and clothes. Yeah, red light. Oh, red light. Red uh, light district. Is that what that is? Boo. Yeah. All right, I just put that. That just. All right. Just What's it say? Together. Something fishy, sardine can puzzle. That's kind of fun. Don't know how it opens. I don't. Oh. Hey guys. I don't want to break it. Uh, so look, just a bunch of fun old games. Look. Oh, that's kind of fun. It's like a box too. Oh, that's Drive cool. you nuts. What year is that from? I don't know. 1970. Y'all, that's killer. It's in good condition. Um, everybody knows the triangle game. So this is just a bunch of fun little games. Oh, look. Golden Nuggets. Oh, we found gold. Oh, what? Golden Nugget Gambling. Hall House. Oh, so I guess these came from the Golden Nugget. Yeah, they did. Las Vegas Golden Nugget. So I guess these were used on the floor. Like vintage Golden Nugget cars that were used in the casino. Uh, that's cool. Hey guys, we're back. All right, y'all, check it. I got to show y'all what I'm talking about. So this looks like personal, right? You're just gonna throw it in there, but y'all don't know. There could be like two or three hundred bucks in there. Look at these. These are some old like. Uh, it's one to twenty-four. I'm gonna assume. I wish they weren't folded. Uh, but look, it looks like he's got all twenty-four of them. Some kind of flyers. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna put these in a book and press them, you know, back out as flat as I can, and we're gonna throw these in the auction. We'll put all those as one lot, but just look in here what is this see i oh, look at these some of the stuff i've never seen before you know what i mean look this is 10 of 32 oh pinups so these are uh football pinups 
okay did these in the middle are like in really good condition bart star look here's a whole nother set of them y'all look down in here see this just looked like paper didn't it yep sure all right so i'm pulling all these out i told her i said it might be funny we might find a 1952 freaking rookie uh rookie mickey mantle rookie so look look here's more folded up so we're keeping those um that's kind of cute there's one right there so i was flipping through here i wasn't going to film it and then i got to something i didn't pull them out yet but hold on oh right here so look at these pete rose right off the bat what year are these look at these those are cool yeah look there's reggie jackson look at that so these are kind of cool. Pete Rose, these are those cardboard cards. I can't remember what year these are from. Y'all let me know what year these are from, if you know off the top of your head. If not, I'll look them up. Uh, ticket stubs, y'all. I found a ticket stub one time. No joke. I bought a huge sports car collection. I was going through all ticket stubs. I found a actual ticket stub. I can't remember the, all the info, but it was when Hank Aaron broke the home run record or something. And uh, But it was the ticket stub to that thing. And I think I ain't How much time am I selling that thing for? I don't remember. Like 700 like bucks or something? It was something, something silly, ridiculous, y'all. Yeah. But it was one ticket stub down in there. So, San Francisco Giants. Uh, San Diego Padres. So, I wonder if that's to like a championship game, maybe. So, I'm going to set that aside. Uh, but look, y'all. So, that's what I'm talking about. Well, you got to go through this stuff easy. And you're like, I don't know. It ain't worth it. Man, sometimes it is. All right, y'all, no joke, so check this out. It's off-centered, It's off -centered, obviously, and it's not in the best condition, but it's actually in really good condition other than being off-cut. Uh, off it's an off-cut. See how the border's not, not even cool. around it? But, y'all, this is a 1958 Ernie Banks card. Uh, I mean, it's probably like a three, maybe, or a three off-cut, maybe, something like that. But um, here's an off-cut one, too, you know? Look at these. 1958... They're asking 125 for it, but that six graded, they're asking for 150. So good luck getting that 125. But still, y'all, this is like easily probably like a 20 to 40 dollar card. All right, guys. So look, we're uncovering the top. So all the hidden treasures are on that wall, underneath, all the way to here. Lots of treasures to find. But I want to show you one of the things I'm keeping real quick. One, it's not. I might. I could sell it locally. Um, and I, I don't know. I might throw it up. But I'm gonna keep it, Sean. Y'all check this radio out, y'all got all the knobs all the push buttons work like that's a what do you call that backlight uh like buttons but look at that isn't that beautiful that is that's all right y'all so i'm gonna touch it up i'm gonna uh maybe i might do a light sand to it and redo this uh maybe the stain on the top but i like that so we're keeping it up. i'm putting more sellables over there some kind of little village thing there's like a pirate ship that hasn't been put together yet um so we are getting to the more records so ugh, let's kind of just browse through these real quick y'all probably sick of finding records but i'm not y'all because it's like they had the best they did. all right look so we got a little casey and the sunshine band uh so we're looking for these hype stickers contains the hit single shake your booty that's nice y'all there's so much elvis in here isn't there yeah there is a lot of elvis so here we'll just go through this real fast the fix Sam Harris. I'm looking for some of that. Oh, I didn't tell you what I found, what soundtrack I found in the what? garage yesterday. In excess. Uh -huh. um, Pretty in Pink. Oh, no. The, the vinyl. Yeah. It's just, it was nostalgic, so Very I kept nostalgic. it. So, anyway, look at that Gold Records Award. Um, Y'all, it's like Tommy James. Who's that? Jefferson's Airplane. Y'all, and also check to make sure they're autographed. I hate when people write on them like this. John Oates. Okay, look, Elvis. Elvis. I think there was a lot of Elvis. Alright, y'all look. So more Elvis. More Elvis. Heart. Um oh, that's old school Elton John. Dang, he looks young there. Y'all look, look, Elton John. Ah, oh, Elton John. Look at this. There's a whole El so what I'm doing, y'all, I already I already lotted all the the records for the next auction basically what i'm doing is i know that some of these are definitely worth just putting by themselves but man i'm gonna go big on this auction so we're gonna do all the elton johns in one lot starting at one dollar no reserve yeah i'm not gonna bore you with the rest of the record but look at all these these are all elton john elton 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 they're really good condition elton john elton john elton john 
Elton John. Y'all, there's Elvis. Elvis. There's so much Elvis, y'all. So, like, if you want to, like, get an Insta collection of your favorite person, like, for real. And there's some good... Some of these are valuable. I'm not saying these are all 2 $3. There could be... $200 re actually in one of the lots I know that there's a $150 record in one of them I'm not gonna tell you which one it was but it's one that I lot of yesterday all right guys so hey this said Christmas I already ripped the tape off of it haven't opened it but his Christmas stuff's been good normally I don't like doing Christmas boxes so but we are personally looking for vintage Christmas stuff because we're gonna start Christmas decorating now y'all it is April we're gonna start now. oh babe look at these we should keep these Oh, They're stocking okay. hangers. Do you, but, know what, do you know what we don't have them? Oh, look at the snowman one. So it looks like there's several of each, but those are really nice. They're silver plated, but That's I don't crazy. see a brand on them, but those are really nice. We might keep those. Oh, look at my LED Christmas lights. Cool. They're two, so after Christmas, these work for Halloween too. Oh, do they? Yeah. Cool. You know how? How? Madonna. <laughs> you silly. <laughs> All right, y'all, check it out. We were going to do this box, but then I accidentally peeked in this box. I found something else we're keeping. I didn't show Jenny yet. This no, is Christmas. This is all like Christmas <laughs> villages and stuff. What? Christmas vacation. Look, it's the moose. <laughs> That's so, so cool. uh, you know, uh, Wally World. I'm not Wally. Yeah, was that what, what, what was it called in the it's first one? Vacation. No, where they were going. Yeah, Wally World. Going to Wally, Wally yeah, World. so that's Wally, isn't it? Oh, the moose, that? yeah. The moose? <laughs> Remember when he punches the moose? Y'all check that out. So we're definitely, we'll probably, should we keep this? Yeah. I feel like we should keep this. All right. So look, I open this up, y'all. First thing off the bat, rattlesnake skin. Oh, I say rattlesnake. That looks like the color of a rattlesnake. Yeah. I don't see a rattle on there, though. All right, y'all. So some of this stuff might be personal. Oh, this is autographed. Ooh, by autographed Ken. Okay. Okay, I see. This, oh, this was from 81. So this is probably like a sports camp. Who would be 81? Golden and blue color workers, athletes for educational program. Hey, y'all, look at that autograph. I can figure that out. Basically, what I would do is, is I'd say whose name starts with K-O and was number 81, but we'll figure that out. But that is an autograph t-shirt. Ooh, we'll keep all these. Look, these are older Hot Wheel back cards. Oh, that's cool. For all the Hot Wheel. Oh, look, he saved all his cards, babe. Oh, here's actually one with the Mercedes Benz in it. Look at these. This is all, so we'll put these all in one lot. Yeah, that's so I'm neat. sure somebody collects yeah, these. Somebody okay, so there's a ton of these. And this is just a knickknack box that I love. Oh, that's a back scratcher. Her nose is missing. I don't know. That's sick, though. I'm keeping that. I, I mean, I'm not personally keeping it, but I feel like if her nose is in here, that's worth fixing. Yes. Oh, look. Is that Boy Scouts? A little Boy Scout belt. Interesting. Yeah, with all your little accomplishments. Let's see what we got in here. I found one. Okay, guys. I think we might have to go back through this. Oh, whoa. Hey, guys. Hey, well, we know this is the year we found Sterling in. This is probably his silver plate stuff. Yeah, that's Rogers, Rogers. This looks like it's all silver plate, but some of this stuff comes off like military ships, stuff like that, old hotels that makes it collectible. Um, so we'll just double check. That's all plated. So look, just that's a weird thing to have in there. That's kind of neat. Oh, look at all these little trains and stuff. Little trains. Look, all this stuff adds up, y'all. Uh, pro button. Oh, this is a lot of buttons, y'all. Look. Lot was it? Monday Night Football. Watch it. Look, all these little collectibles. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, the lemmings. You remember the lemming game? Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? I think. I don't what? All right, y'all, check this out. So we'll have to go through this all when we get back because there's a lot of little loosey gooseys. It says trains and Hot Wheels. I can't imagine we're going to find any more Hot Wheels. With, I mean, we've already found like. So many Hot oh, Wheels. Oh, yo. Oh, wait, hold on. This ain't Hot Wheels. I thought this was heavy. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe this is. Okay, this is personal. personal. We're going to start another personal, personal box. box. Yeah. Okay. So, ho, ho 2009 train. ho, train. Oh, there is. H -O. Is he in here? Oh, it's a little Thomas the Train Plane. Or, puzzle. Okay, so all this stuff I'm going to deem personal. Because it looks like it's a mix and I'm not going to sit here and go through it. This is definitely, well, let's get to the bottom. Flyer Master Guide of your flyer. Optimizing your flyers. All right, y'all. 
I think we got full. First box. Then we got full. Alright, that's all personal. Alright guys, we're making some progress. So look at this old uh, motor oil all-state can I found. Little five gallon one. I might keep that just because I do like old cans. Anyway, grab the camera. This is baseball cards and train stuff. I'm hoping for more 60s stuff, y'all. That's what we were looking for. Okay, so look. Nice trains. Yep. Alright, looks like he, ke he kept everything together really well. Wow. What if these were... Okay. So he's opened these. Yeah. Which is not bad. Okay. What year is this? These are 80s for sure, huh? Early 80s? 70s? Let's see. I don't know. I don't, once it's 84. Okay, so look. These are 1984. Yo, what if there was a box like 60s? Like with the box? Like how sick would that be? Okay, so look. These look like they're mixed down here. Or these might have been smaller cards that came with this series okay I I've never found them this this back in the 80s uh, still like with their boxes and everything so look I don't want to open these up uh, just because they're all gonna fall out look so uh, no there might be a mix in there yeah I'm gonna have to go through all of these y'all so when I get back to the house I'll thumb through these but this is a good sign though we need something a little bit early 70s back I guess uh, show them over there so we are we're to the wall uh, we've had a lot of great stuff, y'all. We're just trying to get here. I want to enjoy the rest of Sunday. So, anyway, check it out. Let me show you some of the stuff we found. Y'all, y'all remember? Who remembers Betamax? I'd never even heard of Betamax. Before. So, I just blew her world with these. But, look, I found an <laughs> E.T., Ferris Bueller, two, actually, two of my favorite movies. Uh, look at this blown glass elephant, y'all. That's so pretty. That's sick. So, that'll be in the auction. I uh, found this cool little church lighthouse. I don't know why I just dug it. Oh, look this is a glass chest set this is a monopoly and this is a marble it's got the marble pieces in there and everything but i'm not going to take it out uh, but that's a nice chest set we might keep that one all right y'all check this out so this is brand new in the box it's an art 117 movie tripod and on amazon and stuff they're 409 dollars um and i actually i think we have two all right, y'all, so I think we have two of these, actually, and we have um, some other uh, stuff from this company, so that's 400 bucks right there. All right, got a few quick things real quick. Here's another box of trains. Look at that Texas little uh, engine there. All right, come on, guys, focus. Uh, let's see, let me focus this. All right, y'all, check this out. So look, there's all these, like, special sets in here, the Master Railroad Series, uh, Bachman, Heritage, Photo 2000. Let's open this up and see what it looks like. Looks like it was 50, no, 175 bucks when he bought it. All right, y'all, so look, it's all in here. All the certificates. Oh, that's pretty sweet. All right, that's still taped together, so I'm not gonna take that off. Uh, but look, we have this one. It was originally 175, and it looks like those might be a couple little special editions there. So we got a box of trains. Y'all, look at this whole cookie jar. I think this might be McCoy, I'm not sure. I dig that. I might keep that, y'all. That is sick. Looks like the lid's in here. Got a Commodore keyboard down there. Yeah. Okay. That is freaking awesome. I absolutely dig that. 